11 play, play drive with this 30 yard touchdown play. Yeah, you, you can't expect Olin Dyke here to, to guard Jalen Carr. Like you said, Carr, Jalen Carr is your kick returner for a reason. This guy can fly. He's a former track athlete. Impressive. I like what I've seen. You saw what happened in, in conference play last year when he was healthy before his injury. He started to get some momentum going. This kid can play. All kinds of time for Annex City flips it. It's Carr again who makes the play, and he's pushed out of bounds after his second consecutive catch. He's inside the 15-yard line, and Carr, who's got that Florida speed, as he likes to say, have the Redbirds now in good position again. He was an all-state track athlete in the 100 and the 200-meter dash, and he was a former running back with over 1,000 yards in high school. This guy can just straight up run. Field. He has an option to run the ball or to throw it. He took the ball. He said he thought he had numbers outside. He gave it to Jalen Carr, and he made the right play there. Carr with the second catch. Meanwhile, it's first down, and Anistead throws it out. This is Carr. Can he stay on his feet oh. and get into the end zone? He's close. Oh, he Touchdown. What a play by Jalen Carr. When he caught that ball, I thought, no way he's catching this for a no game, but Carr just out physical him into the end zone. What a heck of a run. That's called yak. Yards after contact, and you can't coach that. That's just one guy being better than the other guy. Welcome back, Jalen Carr. Missed the last two games with a hamstring injury. Catches the ball in the flat here. And, yeah, that yards after the catch gets into the end zone. That's what we see. Clock moving. Anixet takes the snap, throws over the middle. Jalen Carr makes it. was behind him, but Carr was able to bring it in. Another quick pass. That's Jalen Carr, who's back after a hamstring injury. He makes the catch. Yeah, good to see Jalen Carr getting back, getting utilized by, by this offense. First possession, second half. Anixted, there's Carr. In open space, he's tripped up right around the 40-yard line. And the Redbirds are going to throw it again. This time it's Jalen Carr who makes the catch. And Illinois State is inside Indiana State's 40-yard line. They're deep in Jalen Carr with the touchdown. You see it here. They drop eight player, an extra defender. And unfortunately for them, they have Garrett Olendike, who's of Indiana State here. Just under a minute to go in the half. This is going to be Jalen Carr who makes the catch. And he's angled out of bounds. It'll stop that clock. Third down and seven from the 36. Anixted. Underneath has his man, and that is going to be close to a first down, and it will be enough. Big third down conversion there for the Redbirds as Anixted went to Jalen Carr for the first down. Yeah, twin receivers out to the right. Carr was the inside slot receiver, just a quick out. I think the Illinois State Ants can, can force a third and long. Second and 13. They throw it out wide to Jalen Carr. He'll be pushed out of bounds by Greg Benton Jr. at the 45-yard line. It'll set up third down and five after a gain of eight. Uh, a good throw by Anikstead, and uh, Carr able to get, catch it and get upfield and pick up eight and make this a real manageable third down. I like what I've seen and brought it into today. We saw Mason Blake want to transfer from Northern, Northern Illinois on that previous carry. There's a catch by Jalen Carr, who makes the play the slot receiver with his first reception of the year. Jalen Carr, wow, this guy's got some quicks. He's a former running back turned to wide receiver. The guy's tough to guard. Got a stable of them. Third and three. Anikstead's pass is caught by Jalen Carr right at the sticks. He's going to have a first down, another Toyota first down for Illinois State.
Got a late flag that came in. It may have been a hit out of bounds. Yeah, you can't tackle him out of bounds. Third and three here. It's Jalen Carr. Wins. Oh, boy, he took a big hit. What a hit. I mean, he, he got right back up from it, but that was a, that was a heck of a hit right there from, from the defender, Aiden McKinley. And Aiden McKinley came up and gave Jalen Carr, you know, a big punch. Carr's had a busy second half. He had one catch in the opening half. He's got five here in the game now, so a four-catch second half. Wagner's on to kick just for the second oh, time. A, a low line drive to Kubanix, who makes the play. And look, who, you know who's down there to make the play? Jalen Carr, who just got his bell rung. Oh, wow. 